Let us now take the first model from time and distance where we should solve some basic questions on the equation speed equals to distance by time. Let us look at the first example here. The question is a bus covers a distance of 216 kilometers in 4 hours. What is the speed of the bus in meters per second? So as you can see here very clearly the distance is 216 kilometers and the time taken is 4 hours and we are supposed to find out the speed of the bus in meters per second. We know that speed is equal to distance travelled by time taken to travel the distance. So here we can say the speed will be the distance is 216 kilometers and the time is 4 hours. So here we get the speed in kilometers per hour. So this is 4 into 1 and 4 into 54. So clearly the speed is 54 kilometers per hour. But as given in the question, we are supposed to find out the speed in meters per second. So let us convert the speed of kilometers per hour into meters per second. As we have discussed earlier, 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 meters per second. So with the help of this equation, we can convert the speed into meters per second. So whenever we have to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, we can simply multiply the given value by 5 by 18 to get the required answer. So this 54 kilometers per hour can be taken as 54 into 5 by 18 meters per second. Now 18 here goes 3 times. So 3 into 5 is 15 meters per second. So the answer for this question will be 15 meters per second. Let us now take another example from model 1. The question here is a man walks at the speed of 5 kilometers per hour and runs at the speed of 10 kilometers per hour. How much time will the man require to cover the distance of 28 kilometers if he covers half of his journey walking and half his journey running? So as given in the question, the total distance to be covered is 28 kilometers and the man covers half of his journey that is first 14 kilometers by walking and the remaining 14 kilometers by running. So we need to find out the total time required by the man. We also know the speed of the man when he is walking that is 5 km per hour and his speed while running will be 10 km per hour. Let us see how can we solve this question. We know that speed is equal to distance by time or from this we can say time is equal to distance by speed. As you can observe here the total journey is covered into two halves. So we can say that there are two periods of time. In the first time period the man walks and the other time period the man runs. So the total time required can be taken as time for walking plus time for running. And as we know that time is distance by speed, we can simply say that time for walking is distance which he covers by walking divided by speed of walking. Plus again time is nothing but distance by speed. So time for running will be distance that is covered by running and the speed when the man runs. And we have got all these four values. So simply by substituting in this equation, we can get the required answer. We know that the distance which the man covers by walking is 14 kilometers. That is nothing but the first half of his journey. So 14 divided by the speed of walking is 5 kilometers per hour divided by 5. Plus the distance which he covers by running is the remaining half. That is the other 14 kilometers divided by the speed while running is 10 kilometers per hour. So this should be divided by 10. If we observe here, the distances are given in kilometers and the speeds are given in kilometers per hour. So obviously the time which we get from this will be in hours. So we need not convert anything here and we can directly proceed for the calculation. So 14 by 5 plus 14 by 10. If you simplify this, 10 is the LCM, 5 goes 2 times. So 2 into 14 plus 10 is 1 times. So 1 into 14. So that is 28 plus 14, 42 by 10. So we can say that the total time required is 4.2 hours. Let us now take an interesting example based on model 1. The question here is a man takes 6 hours in walking to a certain place and riding back. He would have taken 2 hours less by riding both ways. What will be the time required by him to walk both the ways? The first statement here is a man takes 6 hours in walking to a certain place and riding back. That means man here is covering a distance between two points. So while going from one point to the other, that is while moving from first point to the second point, he walks. But in the return journey, that is from point 2 to point 1, he rides. And the time taken is 6 hours. So we can say that the time taken for walking plus time taken for riding is equal to 6 hours. 
Remember friends, the distance which is covered while walking and while riding is equal. Why? Because he is moving between the same two points. The second statement here is, he would have taken two hours less by riding both the ways. So in case if he rides from point 1 to point 2 and rides again from point 2 to point 1, he will take two hours less. So very clearly the time taken for riding and again the time taken for riding the same distance will be equal to two hours less than the previous time. So earlier he took six hours, this time he will take two hours less. That is nothing but four hours. So we are supposed to find out what will be the time required by him to walk both the ways. Let us see how can we get the answer here. First of all, we know that from this equation, the twice the time taken to write will be equal to 4 hours. So very clearly, the time required to write will be 2, 2 hours. That means if the person writes from one point to the other, the time taken will be 2 hours. So if we substitute this time of 2 hours in the first equation, we can say that time taken to walk plus 2 hours is equal to 6. So from this, the time taken to walk one side of the journey will be 6 minus 2, 4 hours. So as you can see here, from the two equations, we are able to find out the time taken to ride one side of the journey and the time taken to walk one side of the journey. And the question here is, what will be the time required by him to walk both the ways? That means if he is walking both the ways, from point 1 to point 2, he walks and point 2 to point 1 back again, he walks. So if he is walking both the sides, how much time is required? Very clearly, the time required to walk both the ways should be double of this time. Why? Because this is for one side 4 hours. So for two sides, the time required should be 8 hours. So we can say here that the time taken to walk both the ways, if he walks both ways, will be equal to twice the time taken to walk one side. So 2 into 4, 8 hours. So the answer for this question is 8 hours. Remember friends, strictly speaking, the paperwork is not required. If you have understood the concept here, this question can be answered without writing any of these steps. Why? Because we simply know that to walk and to ride equal parts of journey, the time taken is 6 hours. And to ride both the sides, the time taken is 4 hours because it is 2 hours less. So for one side of the journey, the time taken to ride will be 2 hours. That is 4 by 2, 2 hours. And if you take these 2 hours, in the first case, it is very clear that the time required to walk was 6 minus 2, 4 hours. So for one side, if it is 4 hours, for both the sides, it has to be 8 hours. So try to be smart and answer these type of questions without doing any paperwork.